Eric Pickard, uh, Pete Keithard, I believe this is a question for you. Can I walk over there a little bit, please? My name is Gary Hendrick, and I represent over 1,700 people that are local that are concerned about living near this power plant. San Clay Green has been active when we produced these posters and stuff, but um, we didn't start off as anti nuclear and we got involved because of the whistleblower issue, and um, that's, you know, that's where we're coming from. But we have deep concerns, and uh, there's part of Part of my question that I have to ask, I just need to verify that I have it right, because I'm not a nuclear expert, and I'm asking you, Pete, to, it's specifically about the mode of, of starting up a generator and how the different phases it goes through. I can understand there's a mode five is the lowest, that's kind of like it's not even operating, and then mode, mode four is more operational, mode three, Mode two and mode one. I'm I'm mostly concerned if I got that right because I'm, my question has more to do with mode three, and I wanted to understand how close is mode three to uh, fully operating that plan. I should be more clear in terms of you know, how much uh, heat and pressure and how much radioactive water is flowing through the generator. All right, Pete. You understand that question? Yeah, Gary, I'd be more than willing to follow up with you to talk specifically about the modes. Uh, your mode three question relates to, uh, I'll answer primarily, is the reactor is still shut down. Uh, so we are not producing producing heat through nuclear fission. Um, but in mode three, we consider the plant to be up or approaching what's considered to be normal operating temperature and pressure. But again, that heat is being generated by either the uh, uh, the heat from pumps that are running or from uh, from other heaters that can be applied to what's a great heat in the plant. So the reactor is shut down, there's no nuclear fission occurring, and uh, but the plant is able to go up and uh, conduct testing uh, at normal operating pressure and temperature. So the reason I was asking that is, as um, I understand it, the, at mode three, you have the same amount of Heat and pressure as when it's running at full capacity, but it's just not uh, with the reactor operating. But it still has radioactive water flowing through the steam generator. And the reason that's important is, uh, again, I was contacted by a whistleblower today, and I haven't been able to verify this is all recent news, but he's working on that process right now at your plant. And you're going from four to five, and and. Uh, by the 20th of this month, we intend to go from a four to a three. And my concern is, and this is the reason we're here tonight, is because we're afraid a decision is going to be made to start up these reactors when it's really not safe. And what's, what I understood, and correct me if I'm wrong, that if you start up the mode three, and you have the same heat and the same pressure, and something goes wrong with those tubes, then radiation could escape into the atmosphere. Is that right? Well, first I'll say that our confirmatory action letter that uh, was issued by the Nuclear Regulatory Commission places a limit on Area 2, and that we cannot take that plant into Mode 2 or start the reactor up until we receive our information. So, as we've said over and over again, we will not operate the plant until both Southern California Edison and the Nuclear Regulatory Commission have uh, concluded that it's safe to do so. Uh, the restrictions in our confirmatory action letter do, uh, do allow us to conduct some additional testing, not with the reactor critical, but in a normal operating pressure and temperature situation, but not with the introduction rates created by nuclear fission, not with steam rates in the steam generators that require uh, uh, full operation of the steam generators. So uh, the requirements are laid out in our confirmatory action letter. That, le that letter was issued in March of this year, and those are the requirements that we're bound by law to live the reactor is running right now. Are you telling us that? Uh, oh, no, I don't. All the reactors are shut down right now. And they will remain shut down until we receive permission from the NRC to start off. Okay, go ahead, Rick. Gary. I want to just a quick follow up question to you from Gary. Well, no, what I understand is under the confirmatory action letter, Edison <laughs> can start up the reactor number two up to what is the equivalent of normal operation heat and pressure, and that would be acceptable to NRC 
under the current regulation, and you could have a disastrous result from that, and it's still within the regulations, and we never get the adjudicated hearing that we want, and that's what we're really here for. We don't want an accident to happen before this judgment is made by an independent expert.